hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video we are going to be talking about smart objects in adobe photoshop so before understanding what are smart objects first let us see how we can create smart objects so i will create a circle over here i will copy it and make another circle over here now this circle I will rasterize it so this circle will lose all its shape properties and now this circle I will convert to a smart object now here lies the difference between the raster and the smart object so if I press ctrl T and resize both these circles say to this size now I again press ctrl T and bring it back up see you can see that the smart object did not lose any quality but the raster object has lost the quality so smart object you can see as another photoshop file which is linked to this file say if i double click on this object i will get the shape layer if i change the color of the shape layer As you can see, this shape has also been changed. So let us take another example. Let me delete these two. Now let us take these two pictures. As you can see over here, this is a raster and this is a smart object. Now let me select both. Press Ctrl T, make it small. Now when I again bring it back up to its original size, as you see, the raster has lost all the quality but smart object retains all the quality now i come to where you have seen me use smart objects in my videos and where smart objects are really essential and helpful say for example i am working on a points table let me create a single cell of a points table I have created these two cells. This one is a raster. This one is a smart object. Now I will be making copies of the smart object. Similarly, I will be making copying of this raster layer too. Now, say I want to change something. Say I want to change the orange color in this to blue color so if i double click on the smart object now select these two layers and change the color to blue when i close this all the cells will be blue but in case of raster this is not possible if i double click on it it will show up the layer style dialog box uh, so uh, I can for example change even change the design in the left smart object say I want to make it something like I can also change the size of this object say I want it to be more long so I can make it longer and then control T and make this like this then make another copy and place it here so as you can see here smart object reduces the amount of work you need to do otherwise you would have had to manually make the entire thing one second so another place where smart object is really useful is in mockups we can create mockups using smart objects so let me show you an example let me delete this now i will draw 
or rectangle over here and I convert it to a smart object now if I double click on it whatever image I will place over here will appear over here say for example I place this image I already used over here and I close it so this image will appear in the frame say for another example if I want to change this I will again double click and open it then this time say I place another image so this will appear over here so there are many more situations where smart objects are used here I have given only a small intro into it because it is used in a lot of designs uh, which we create basically the esports designs the points tables and stuff so i feel like it is important to understand the difference between smart objects and using normal raster objects hope you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you